Well, hello there, and welcome back to Dark Souls New Game Plus. Um, I am not going to be going that way. After ending recording, I had a brief momentary memory relapse, where I, um, remember that there is a Black Knight down there. A Black Knight that I never beat, because in my last playthrough I did not think about it. Can't open any of those. And I do remember that there is... A little something down here waiting for me. If I can get to it without dying, which is not a guarantee. Not that summon sign, which I've never seen before, but this. Large soul of a nameless soldier. So, is this a player? Paladin Leroy. I am going to summon him. And that is not a player, that is an NPC. That is the NPC that I bumped into, um, now that I'm thinking about it, down by Nito. Hello, Paladin Leroy. I will use your help. Oh, stick that landing. No. Bad. Horrible. Just run. Leroy? Oh, God, you're gonna get killed by these shitheads, aren't you? And there's no way for me to heal him. No, you don't. I hate these things. These are the buddies that I was talking about last video. There's one more. Leroy, watch out. Don't do it, Leroy. Gosh. <sighs> Bone will shield? Are you serious? You can heal? Okay, we're not going anywhere just yet. I was really thinking about heading straight to the boss, but... If I've got Leroy... 2,000 damage! Good lord, I've got a hula hoop. Beautiful. If Leroy can heal... Well... I hate to say it, but... We're going to have to deal with this knight up here. Are you coming down here, Mr. Knight? Mr. Knightykins? Yes, he is. Okay. Leroy! What are you doing up there, you big goof? We have trouble back here. Serious trouble. That was... <laughs> wow, a Black Knight Great Axe, a White Titanite Knight Chunk. Could I, by chance, interest you in slaying a Titanite Knight Demon with me? Are you going to come this way? I'm going to try... Wait, Leroy, this way. Okay, he's not interested. I had really hoped that I could take him up there to deal with that Titanite Knight Demon, but I'm just I'm lucky enough that he was there to dispose of that knight. Pretty sure I would have been able to kill that knight on my own, but wow. Leroy did it in one hit. Okay. This fight, last time I did it, was not that difficult. However, I will buff up my, um... Dark Blade. Or my, whatever. I'll use my Dark Moon buff here. As soon as... Um, this fight starts, that is. What is going on down here? It's the Puppet Master. I'm gonna cut off one of your masks again. Yes. You guys get to decide which one you give me this time. Okay. What? Oh, I can't... Okay, quit doing it. I can't buff up a divine weapon. Crap. I think you're the one I want. I don't know where he went. That's gotta be him right here. Yes, it is. Get him, Leroy! So close. No, he did hit him for a bunch of damage. Yeah, Pinwheel, you don't really stand a chance against us. 
Oh, I take that back. It's got enough help. Okay, yeah, never mind. Thank you very much, Leroy. I'm glad you did not charge ahead and get us screwed. Really wish I could bow. But it does not want to let me. Mask of the Child again? I've already got one of them. I can't wear two. The, see? Now, the game is basically just pleading with me. It's like, you, you must wear the mask. You must embrace your inner stamina whore while you can. However, I have to give up that inner stamina whore. I am actually going to wear this this time. Yes, indeed. Hang on. I believe that up this way... That's another developer message. I believe that up this way there was another item or something. Perhaps a spell? Yeah, this thing. Soul of a Proud Knight. Okay, not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. It may help me out in the future. No! What am I doing? Where am I going? Okay. I was really scared that that edge was just going to slide me straight down to some horrible abyss. So... Now that I have a headlamp this time, I don't have to go through this first area blind. And I don't have to, um... Forego my shield for some ridiculous lantern. Yeah, I see you there. Hang on. I'm going to get rid of this divine weapon. Because I'm almost positive that my plus 15 will do more damage. Why did I lose my lock on? 240. That's pretty respectable. Oh, I hate that kick. And you know it too, don't you? I don't think so. Now, with any luck, I might actually be able to make it to the bonfire down here. If not, I'm going to die. And... I'm not going to lose all these souls. Just so you know. Also, what am I doing? I actually don't want to go down here. No. Forget it. I just remembered I can't warp out. Okay, so that was a real quick... Um... idea I had that I'm glad I thought more about. Let's put that one on. That's the one that I've been wearing that is almost broken. So, Geronimo. We'll just use, let's see, one of my homeward bones to get out of here. Yeah, for a second I still thought I had the Lord Vessel. And then I could just go down there and trigger that bonfire and then warp out. But that is not the case. So... Spend all those souls, get my dexterity up to 40, and that is where it will stay. Now, all the souls I earn after this, I'm really going to have to think about what I want to do with and I'm going to buff these up. Buff that bonfire up. Is that as high as I can get? Yeah. One more. I might never have to come back and use this bonfire in this let's play but I plan to go I plan to beat this game multiple times so that's for future plump so that he doesn't have to worry about anything once the game gets much harder on like the next new game new game plus plus <laughs> or whatever you want to call it so now how the hell do I get out of here I don't need to use my divine blade because I've killed the necromancers yeah, I kill these guys in two thrusts now instead of three. 300 damage per thrust. That is so beautiful, I don't even know how to contain myself. Hello, you. Is your buddy coming up behind me? No. You know, this actually would be a good time for me to... No. I don't need anything from that blacksmith down there. 
he doesn't actually have my embers, so he can't buff up my weapons the same way that he could before. I have to find all that crap again, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys. Yes, there are some things that I do know about New Game Plus, even though I haven't had to experience them on my own. Are you going to stay there? Yes. Also, I might as well just buff my blade for this little run through here. Let's see how much damage it does buffed. 300 unbuffed, 433 buffed. It's not too bad. Oh, crap. Okay. I don't know how he didn't parry me there. Must have something to do with distance as well. You know what? I, I will actually... Um, wow, 310? With just a regular slash? Good lord. If only this enchantment had more than one cast. It would be bliss. And it would be probably too overpowered for PvP. I didn't want to kick him, but okay. That was close. No. What ring am I wearing? None. It's unacceptable as well. Why didn't any of you yell at me that I was not wearing a ring? deal with you. Oh goody. Another one. Okay. I guess I must have nicked the one that I backstabbed. I wasn't expecting him to be dead. And let's get out of here. So now we have the right of... Oh crap. No! <laughs> you camera. I was not expecting that to happen. Damn lock on. Oh yes, the joys of lock on. So lock on is a blessing and a curse. It's not the first time it's killed me. It's not gonna be the last either. Really? What are you thinking? You left yourself wide open to be stabbed there. I think one of them just ran behind me. I heard... I thought I heard one of them doing their little circus cartwheel thing. I don't know what to call it. Cirque du Soleil or something? I don't think that's its actual name. Okay, so yeah, when using walk-on, do not... When using lock-on, you gotta be careful around these edges. No. You are not going to stab me. You are not going to get me blown off the edge there either. Praise the sun. I will put one of these messages. There we go. Even though I don't ever get any humanity for him, it still feels nice to finally see the sun again. We didn't have to spend too much time down there, thankfully. Which is quite amazing. Are you guys going to let me through? Yes. I'm not going to fight them. If I can help it. I'm pretty sure if I go all the way back to the bonfire, they'll despawn. Or they'll jump off to their doom. Whatever. Be wary of liar. I wonder if they're talking about Frampt there. Frampt didn't seem like a liar to me. He did say I was the chosen one. I did become king. Secret? I don't know if there is a secret, but here. Have some humanity. So, what should we do with these souls? I'm not gonna... I'm gonna talk to Petrus, actually. I, I was gonna say, I'm not gonna join his covenant. But maybe he'll still sell Very me well. stuff. No. You're insane. Do you not know who I serve? I should take your ear, Petrus, for your insolence. And, let me turn human and kindle this. 
I'm going to try to be human as often as I can throughout this playthrough. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that too. In fact, in the next area, I'll also use that blue orb and we'll see if we can get some invasions going on. It's uh, unfortunately extremely rare for me to find anyone that I can invade with that blue orb. I've spent hours before while farming and doing things, trying to invade people, and have been unsuccessful. If you, th th There's two really good covenants for PvP. The Forest Hunters is a good one, and even though I did not really enjoy my experience getting one-shotted and double-teamed, it is... Um, it has extremely quick PvP. The other one are the Dark Wraiths, where you actually invade people that are human, and you can get really quick PvP that way, from what I've been told. I've never actually been a Dark Wraith, though. So I would not know. Soul of the Lost and Dead. Game, don't you dare lag up at mid-jump. That is scary. And what were you? A Ring of Sacrifice. I have a bunch of those rings, and I will be hanging on to them. And not wasting them frivolously. I really wasn't wanting to kill him like that. I was hoping that I could practice my kicking. Yes! 849. Goodness. What about you, friend? Nothing? Okay. Just chop your legs off. Soul of a lost undead. I'm not yawning because I'm tired. I'm yawning because I need tea. I haven't had any for a while. I'm unfortunately drinking something else today. No, I can't unlock this, can I? No. I do remember how to get back through there. And it might be one of the first places that I head. Let's see. Blue Eye Orb. Yeah, we'll see if we can invade anyone. There's got to be a sinner with a delicious looking ear somewhere around here. Okay. So, if I didn't want to go through a fog gate... Go here. I'm pretty sure if I go through a fog gate, it'll cancel my uh, attempt at invading. Yoink. Soul of a Lost Undead. I think those are only like 400 souls or 200. Not really a, a lot of them. You guys actually do more damage than I thought they were going to do. I was still expecting them to just basically nick me. I know that there are fingers around here somewhere, yep. Failed to invade. Better get used to seeing that. Try again. Could you just hang on? Thank you, sir. I don't know what I got there. <laughs> I guess we'll never know what I looted there. I think it was fire bombs or something. That is one of the complaints I have about this game. Sometimes, it's entirely possible to miss what you found. Humanity, yay! It's one less humanity I have to farm for. Okay. I'm curious if going through this will cancel my summoning. My invading, too. Whoops. Gotta jump the gun on that one. I'm not looting them. By the way, I'm tired of doing inventory and dropping broken swords and hollowed armor, which is all they will drop, I think. Yep, invasion cancelled. Those fog gates are signs um, that will tell you the different sectors that can be invaded. Yeah, I remembered you. You scared me the very, very, very first time I came through here. Right? 
don't know about going right. Right back? Are you just trying to get people killed? Damn it. I really don't want to die to these guys. Come here, sniper. Have some of that. Titanite shard. So they do drop Titanite shards. Headshots. There. Everyone else seems to like your message. I'll just give everybody some humanity around here. Okay. I can't level up. What's this say? Bonfire? <laughs> yes, indeed. You are an observant one. We'll go see the merchant before I end the video here and try to do a little bit more invading. That's right, I ducked under your arrow. I wonder if you could parry an arrow. Searching for World of the Guilty. Now, it's not like I'm going to be invading any low-level players uh, just because I'm trying to invade here. The only way that I can invade low-level players is if they have a bunch of sin, at which point they have basically earned the Wrath of the Dark Moon by picking on low players and killing them. Awesome. These guys used to scare me so much. What do you drop for me? A Titanite Shard? There's money I don't have to spend. Where is that? Oh, yes. I know where that is. That leads down to one of the next places I think we're going to be going. Eminent Merchant. Eminent X Man. Try to invade again. It is pretty late. But, considering the fact this game is worldwide, and the people you can connect to, it shouldn't matter too much. Like, right now I'm connected f to people from Australia, Russia, Try Death. No. I like this guy. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Everything, huh? Let's see what you got. Repair powder, I probably don't need any of this. Yeah, none of that stuff I'm going to use. The residence key, I need to buy again. Repair box, I'll buy that. I might as well, I don't need any of that, that, or the chain armor. Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> not very likely. Yeah, I'm not here to chit chat. We talk business or we talk nothing at all. Okay, fair enough. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Enjoy those souls. And watch out for any crazed murderers that come for Yulia. Oh yes. It's um that's one of the things that I'll be hunting down people for in my own mind. It doesn't actually work like that, but you can kill him. If you're a cold, heartless bastard. And you can steal his precious Yulia, which I thought for the longest time was a wash basin that he had. But no. And I won't tell you guys what it is, who or what Yulia is. If you're cold and heartless enough to kill him yourself, go for it. What is this? Throwing knives, that's right. And... Geronimo! It'd be a damn shame to miss that jump. Did my invasion fail already? It must have. Light crossbow, standard bolts. Won't be using any of that. But I did want it for my collection. Bonk. Don't be doing this, camera. Having a spaz attack. Some of us are trying to make a living here. Hey, I see a shiny back there. I gotta slow down and keep exploring things. Soul of the Lost Undead. I feel like I'm rushing through just a little bit. I need to go nice and slow, tiptoe around everything. Poke my nose into every corner. See, right, 
That's where the merchant is. Back. Why not? Check out all these messages one more time. Try attacking. I'll leave a, a helpful message here. Something that might help people. Let's see. Try... Try kicking. Even though leaving the message right here, probably not the best place for it. Because to read it, you'll have to drop your defenses for a moment. But it, it might help somebody, I don't know. Failed to invade. Not that surprising, really. Um, Geronimo. I guess I'll end the video here, because whenever we come back, we're going to make our way somewhere. I, I might not actually kill the Taurus demon um, up above if I can find a way to skip him, because I want to leave this place open for me to be invaded at as well. So, we'll see. I'm going to try to mix things up a little bit on the routes that I take compared to the first time through. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully next video we get some invasions underway.